Good afternoon, my fellow Sierra Leoneans. This now na sister once again, Sister Ruggie from London. The date today, na the 19th August 2020. I they send out this message today to all the political parties in the Republic of Sierra Leone. That includes SLPP, APC, NGC, C4C, among other, all political parties in the Republic of Sierra Leone. On behalf of the Advocates for Good Governance Sierra Leone, we are a registered organization based in Sierra Leone. My message today, as regards to waiting upon na Mali, na in compel me for pass this message. Once again, waiting upon na Mali, na in particularly compel me for send this message to all the political parties in the Republic of Sierra Leone. What make I decide for include the opposition party is that every opposition party na a just a waiting party where they for come back into governance. Once more, opposition party, now political parties them, where once again they wait for come back into governance. And if that be the case, now any the reason we make a decide for include all political parties in the Republic of Sierra Leone as a wake up call. A wake up call. Never turn against Una young citizens them. The moment Una begin turn against Una citizens them, Una don't indirectly turn against Una young political parties them. Una don't indirectly turn against Una young country as well. Because what make a talk so is that any democratic government, any democratic government in the Republic of Sierra Leone. It's supposed for include freedom of speech when a part of good governance. Freedom of speech is part of good governance. The police them and the soldiers them never able for stand there for the interest of the people them, the citizens them for protect their lives them, for protect them them them, them properties them. This na part of good governance. Part of good governance also include good rule of law. We're free from bias. We're free from interest, from specific interest. We're free and fair. We're ready for particularly represent the people them to the best of their own ability without compromise. Good governance, once again, include freedom of speech. You get to allow the people them for talk. You get to allow the people them for voice out their concern. You get to allow the people them for voice out their own problems. Them. You get to allow the people them for express themselves freely. That is part of good governance. And once more, as I've been done, make the audio on the 14th of August for La able for highlights how for treat disgruntled citizens them. Not all for continue for suppress them, not to for continue for use violence on them, not to for continue for use any acts where they make, they don't subject them to a posture whereby they're not able for cough, they're not able for sneeze, they're not able for do anything. The moment any political party begin to turn against their young people, they, they understand, say, that particular political party, they will not turn against their young citizen. They don't indirectly turn against their own party and they not indirectly turn against their own country. Democratic government. Now, a government where the people them vote for say, yes, this political party or this particular aspirant, then trust them based on the manifesto messages where they give out. People then they vote for an individual, for an aspirant within a political party, as them particularly convinced with the with the manifesto messages where that particular party they and or aspirant give out to the people them. Say if I can't win, if you vote for me, I go do this for now, I go do this for now, I go do that for now. They're not able to capture the people their attention. Now in the make when they vote for them. However, if you wanna the political parties them wanna come out to the people and tell wanna say, tell them say if you wanna vote for me, I will make life become miserable for wanna. 
I go make sure say even the food for puts the basic necessity when a food for puts now na your own table when I go struggle for make ends meet. I go make sure say I can't turn against Suna. I go kill Una picking them. I go kill Una families them. I go introduce violence for make sure say I go use violence for rule me government so that let Una go afraid for talk so that let Una Una lives them go become miserable. Even if I they do bad things, if Una go scared for talk because of the violence where they can introduce and they can subject Una to torture. So be honest with Una. I like when I give millions and millions of leons to the citizens there for let them vote for Una. Unfortunately, they no go vote for Una. But because now they give out constructive and clear messages as to how Una they can govern them people then they what thing Una they can do for them particular citizens then they na in can capture the attention and they vote for a political party or then they particularly vote for a candidate based on the political party. So, my message today, please, who are the political parties them? Who are the political parties them in the Republic of Sierra Leone? At least, if we are there in governance, we are try for maintain the basic necessity for the people. What is the basic necessity? Food, clean sanitation, we are water, and as well as medical care. These are the basic necessity. Where nobody know they were not able to live without food, nobody know able know they were able to live without water, nobody know they were able to live without medical care, accurate medical care. When I try for maintain them basic necessities, they are letting they to the lowest minimum prices where can be affordable to every citizen in the Republic of Sierra Leone. But if we are not there in any better position for maintaining them basic necessity, they are going to be affordable to every citizen in the Republic of Sierra Leone. The moment we are begin to turn back against our own people, we vote for them. Unfortunately, we are not indirectly turn against our own political party, and we are not indirectly turn against the country as well. Again, I be not pull out a message when I address about disgruntled citizens them. Violence not ever be the solution for rule of democratic government, but it is the solution for destroy a democratic government, and it is also a solution for destroy the people them, and it is also a solution for continue for anger the people them. Never introduce violence in any democratic government, but ready for pay attention to the people who vote for now. Now ready for pay attention. Now listen to the cry of the people them, the call of the people them, the concern of the people them, the, the problems of the people them, and we are willing for amend them, for try for put them in a high table and discuss them appropriately. And we are also there in a better position for get inclusive government, because when we are get inclusive government, then we don't include the people them. Then we are go realize say, that government they will become successful. But the moment we not try for turn against we not young people away vote for now, then definitely we don't indirectly turn against our own political party. We don't definitely indirectly turn against our own country as well. So this message is a wake up call to all the political parties them in the Republic of Sierra Leone. The, the biggest mistake we not they make we not decide for turn against our young people them by introducing violence. Thinking that we're going to shut them down. The moment we begin to do so, then we don't indirectly turn against my own political party and we don't indirectly turn against my own country as well. So the cheapest option is to turn against your citizens. When you do that, you will realize that many, many things they go wrong. And I hope say, we're not the political parties, them that the Republic of Sierra Leone, we not all go learn lessons from waiting up in Mali. For make sure say una not they in any better posture for turn against our young people away vote for una. Once again, on behalf of the advocate for good governance, Sierra Leone, I tell you now thank you for giving me una audience and una stay blessed. Sister Rogie.